so Yin Release is one of two nature transformations that have nothing to do with the five basic elemental ones. Its techniques involve employing the energy of the spirit or the imagination, which by extension means that Yin Release techniques involve the manipulation of intangible ideas or things that don't physically exist. So in other words, the purpose of Yin Release is to either give form to things that don't already have it or to create form out of nothing entirely. The sort of techniques you get when you employ these abilities are weird and abstract. For example, Taiyuya is able to create thralls entirely out of spiritual energy, and Shikamaru is able to manipulate physical shadows. I don't know if the strength of a hundred seal used by Tsunade and Sakura falls under Yin release, but one of the alternate names for it is flat out the Yin seal. As a matter of fact, Yin release's Japanese name is Inton, and the name of the seal in Japanese is Infuin, which, well, that directly translates to Yin seal. But the point I was trying to make is that the fact that they both have the same prefix hints at a correlation between the two. This is also noteworthy because Naruto specifically asks about medical ninjutsu when Yamato and Kakashi mention yin and yang release to him in response, so if the strength of a hundred seal does happen to fall under yin release, that might mean medical ninjutsu falls under yin release as well. Of course, the strength of a hundred seal is also a sealing jutsu, so that might just mean that sealing jutsu fall under yin release and not medical jutsu, so I don't know. Do with the information what you will. Anyhow, yin release's ties to the imagination and the spirit mean that it encompasses all of genjutsu as well. This isn't me speculating. The second Mizukage, who is essentially the authority on genjutsu, says that genjutsu relies very heavily on yin release. Now while this would be a perfect time to explain how genjutsu works, it's getting its own video. Trust me, it's definitely complex enough to deserve one. But yeah, all genjutsu falls under yin release, including genjutsu cast with a Sharingan or Mangekyo Sharingan. This might not be the Sharingan's only ties with yin release though. The manga directly states that Indra inherited his father's eyes and powerful spiritual energy, and since the Uchiha are directly descended from Indra, and they all also have the sage's eyes, it's safe to say that many Sharingan abilities might actually be drawing from Yin release. For example, the Susano and Amaterasu are both examples of creating form out of nothing, and there are plenty of Genjutsu that rely on having a Mangekyo Sharingan. Of course, this is just conjecture, but I did think it was worth pointing out. Now, I know Amaterasu is technically a form of fire release called blaze release, but that wouldn't be the only example of somebody using an elemental ninjutsu and calling it yin release. For example, here's Madara using a technique called sage art yin release lightning dispatch that definitely looks like it should be a lightning release technique, but is not. Well, I'm not saying I'm right. Amaterasu, in all honesty, probably has nothing to do with yin release, but as I've already said, I did think it was a connection worth pointing out. Unlike the five basic elemental nature transformations, yin release and likewise yang release have no advantages or disadvantages over any other nature transformations, including Keke Genkai. They're just sort of like their own thing. Speaking of Yang release, I should be tackling it next week in a separate video, so you guys have that to look forward to, but until then, well, if you have anything you want me to talk about in a future video, leave it in the comments below, and if I like it enough, I'll make sure to get to it in the future. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day, hope to see you in my next video, and I'll talk to you later. Swagkage, out. Bye.